Today we're going to talk about functions. When we talk about functions, I first want to start off with what we did in class using silent board games. For silent board games, remember we tried to find what we would do to this top number here to get the bottom number there. Pause the movie now and try to solve this silent board game on your own. Copy the table into your notes and put the numbers that you think belong in the squares. This one was kind of tricky because it was a two-step silent board game. The easiest one for me to start with is the 3 and the 7. I first tried adding 4. 3 plus 4 is 7, but negative 2 plus 4 is not negative 3. So I know I'm going to have to multiply and then maybe add or subtract. The rule in this one was to actually take x, multiply it by 2, and then add 1. 3 times 2 is 6. 6 plus 1 is 7. Negative 2 times 2 is negative 4 plus 1 is negative 3. Negative 2 times 0 is 0, plus 1 is 1. So I can see that this rule works for these three examples. Let's finish the table up. If I have 2, 2 times 2 is 4, plus 1 is 5. 5 times 2 is 10, plus 1 is 11. Ooh, these are tricky. These we need to work backwards. If I know my answer is going to be negative 1, let's deal with the plus 1 first. Something plus 1 is negative 1. I know that is negative 2. So negative 2 plus 1 would give me the negative 1, which means that whatever my x value is times 2 needs to be negative 2. So that would be negative 1. The last one would be something times 2 plus 1 is 13. If I take away the plus 1, that gives me 12. So something times 2 is 12, that something would be 6. This is our introduction to functions. A function in most cases means that you take your number x and you follow a rule like we have been in our silent board games and after you follow that rule that's going to give you the value for y. So a function is a given number for x, you follow a rule and it gives you a value for y. Let's look at some vocabulary. Relation. Relations are sets of ordered pairs. For example, 2 comma 5. We learned already how to graph these points 2 comma 5. We know that the 2 relates to the x value and the 5 is the y value. So first we go over 2 and then up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and the point would be there 2 comma 5. So a relation is a set of ordered pairs and you need to know that the first number in an ordered pair is the x value and the second number is the y value. The domain is another word for the x values. So in this ordered pair 2 is the domain and then of course y or 5 would be the range. Pause the movie now and copy these vocabulary words into your notes. So let's look at this function. In a function each member of the domain has one member of the range. Now that's kind of tricky math talk so let's look at it this way. Each x can have only one y value. 
pause the movie now and copy down function and its definition as well as the tables below. Then use that definition of function to tell me if these tables show a function or not. Yes or no. Let's see how you did. This example says that each x can have only one y. So what we need to do is see if there's any repeats in the x. This negative 3 belongs to a 9, which means that negative 3 can only belong to 9. Are there any other numbers in the table that are there any other numbers in the table that have negative 3 with a different value of y? Yes, there is. Negative 3 and 5. So if each x can have only one y, then we would say that this example is not a function. In this example over here, each x, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, each of these are their own x's. There's no repeated x's, so we can say that, yes, this is a function. Sometimes there's some confusion in problems like this. Ask yourself, is this a function? Some students will say no because there's a 4 and a 4. But this actually is a function, yes. It's okay for there to be multiple y's, but the multiple x's have to have their own y's. Let's move on. Another way to decide if something is a function or not is called the vertical line test. When I look at a graph, I can see that these are my points. If I draw a vertical line down this graph right here, that only crosses one point. If I draw a line here, there's only one point. Again, for this x, there is only one y. This one, same thing. For the x value of 4, there's only the y value of 3. But this example here says that for this x value of 2, I have a y value of 0 and 3. So this vertical line test, since it passes through two dots or two points, we would say no, that that is not a function because 2, 2 is not allowed to have 0 and 3 as, uh, as part of its coordinates. So we would say that this is not a function because if I were to draw a line through these two, it would pass through two dots. I'd like you to copy this table down as I write it with you. Uh, x, 2, 6, 4, 9, 2, negative 3, negative 2, 7, 5, 4, 6, 3, and 7, 3. Looking at these two examples, copy them into your notes, tell me if yes, they are a function, or no, they are not, and bring your answers to class tomorrow.